How is everybody doing? I hope you're all well. It's been a glorious day today. Sun shining all day long, which is great. It is midsummer after all. Uh, right, but what have we here? Queen. Queen, Queen, Queen. The Platinum Collection. It says here on the little sticker, Queen, the Platinum Collection. 51 hits on vinyl for the first time. Um, that's completely untrue. And this has just come out this week, in fact, before the weekend. So let's check it out and see what's inside. Platinum Collection was issued on CD back in 2000, I think, and it also came out in 2011, uh, the Island Remastered version. What it basically is, is Greatest Hits 1, 2 and 3. And uh, yeah, it's been issued on six vinyl discs here. And it looks very, very nice. Collector's item. And anyone who is into Queen is already going to have Greatest Hits 1, 2, 3 on vinyl is a little bit rarer. But uh, you can you can track it down. You can buy it. I actually have it myself. I have them all. <laughs> Multiple times. So let's open it up and have a look. So I'll open it up. I'm going to slice on the dice. I think I'll just, um, just cut around the plastic maybe. So I don't want to remove it. Because the sleeve is a kind of a matte finish. It's not embossed or anything like that. But uh, I won't be able to get a poly sleeve thick enough. You know. So we just have to do it like that instead. Tiptoe around it, as they say. Oh, there you go. Job done. All right. Out the old pump. It's the buckler. I'll come back to that in a minute. Greatest hits one. Each platter comes in an individual sleeve. Kind of period correct artwork. This is greatest hits three. Yeah. Greatest hits three. I'll get on to it more in a minute. This is kind of a collection of Queen, Queen Plus, Mercury Solo. It's, I always thought of it as a kind of a cash in. Um, there was a demand for it, I guess. It kind of rounds up all the oddities that people may not have. So, this is disc one. What they've done here is they have got the pictures of the singles, but they've taken away the text that uh, came out. Right. And there you go. Fat Bottom Girls and Bicycle Race is all the one. Check out the track listing here. Raymond Rhapsody, another you know, voice of dust, Killer Queen, Fat Bottom Girl, Bicycle Race, you're my best friend, don't stop me now, save me. So here we go. Oh, look. Is that Ferrari yellow? I don't know, but it's beautiful. Flip it. Yeah, same on both sides. Very, very nice indeed. But, you know, I, I will say, collector's item. I think that's from Save Me, wasn't it? Um, Freddy didn't have completely short hair, and he still doesn't have a moustache. 
created a little thing called Love. Somebody to love, I'm here. Good old fashioned lover boy. Play the game. I love that track. Flash, Seven Seas of Right. We will rock you. We are the champion. Yeah, it looks quite bare without the text. Yeah. I remember the original Greatest Hits 1 had text. And then they kind of consolidated 1 and 2 back in. 90 or 2000, uh, excuse me, to 1992, I think, when the two of them came out as a package. The gold box. Mm. Mm, trans red. Oh, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Mm. No damage to the sleeves. I saw another video. On YouTube where the guy had it and um, he was after buying it and there was actually damage where the discs came out through the through the actual um, outers which is incredible because that means it went through the other inners as well and this box isn't cheap you know it's it's expensive and you know, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't accept that, you know, I wouldn't accept it at all. Um, this is Greatest Hits 2. Kind of magic, under pressure. Queen and David Bowie, that's the first time they've actually um, put that in there. Isn't it? Yeah. Radio Gaga, I want it all, I want to break free. In your window, it's a hard life breakthrough. It's a fantastic track. Who wants to live forever? Again. Yeah, singles. But well, it just looks a bit strange. Yeah, they, maybe. Yeah. yeah, they should have stuck that in there, I think. It's a uh, trans pink. A pink trans. <laughs> it's two. Greatest six, two. Miracle, great track. Invisible Man. Never mad about that. I don't really like it. I don't like the way they um, name out the band members and stuff. I got slightly mad. Fantastic. Headlong. Mm. May track, I think. <gasps> Purple. That is nice. That is absolutely stunning. Wow. I'm gonna fall. Show must go on. Friends will be friends. One video. The thing is, greatest hits two. It's a pity that they didn't have more stuff from Hot Space. I think Last Palabras would have been good um, instead of The Invisible Man. Scandal wasn't on an either, of course. Um, body Language was a hit from Hot Space, but it's a little bit weird. Uh, you know, it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the Queen stuff. Yeah. Finally, we come to Greatest Hits 3. First one, sorry. Mm. That picture is inside the sleeve of the CD booklet of Innuendo. Uh, show must go on. Queen Elton John. Under pressure, the Ram mix. I was never into this kind of stuff. I remember when it came out, I didn't, you know, Barcelona, Freddie Mercury, Montserrat, Cabellier. Great track. I mean, yeah, fantastic. Too much love will kill you. Somebody to love. George Michael and Queen. I mean, yeah, he was good at the Mercury Tribute. You don't fool me. Uh, heaven for everyone. Las Palabras de Amor. It's on this, you see. Uh, Likely so. There you go. Now, Greatest Hits 3 was always black and white photographs and lots of text. They've kind of made it unified here now. Um, and that comes on. A royal blue trans. Yeah. Super slick. Super slick. And there we have the rest of the sleeves. That's not bad, you know. It, it, it's something, you know, you could have made yourself on on iTunes or something like that. You know, you pop them all in together. You know, it's, you know. And this is the second disc of three. That's a kind of magic. It was from the Princes of the Universe video or something like that. 1986. Rest of the tracks here. Um, 
Driven by You, Let Me Live, Living on My Own. That was the Mercury solo single from 1993. That was a hit. Prince of the Universe, that's on that as well. That's a great track from Kind of Magic. I really like that, yeah. Much better than Friends Will Be Friends. A great pretender. Yeah. All right. There's some good songs, you know. Uh, and that is a trans loosened green. That's lovely. It is absolutely lovely. Yeah, it's really nice, you know. Um, and I don't know, my son Dust, that's with uh, White Cliff Shan. Yeah, I was never into that. These are the days of our lives. It's a great song, actually, as well. Yeah, it is. It is a great song. Um, no One But You, The Good Die Young. Only The Good Die Young. And Thank God It's Christmas. So, there you, you, you have it, really. Um, if you have the... The CD edition. Um, you have them all, you know. It's, it's it's a nice box to have, you know. And with the vinyl, I think with these things, what I've learned is when they come out, I just buy them, bite the bullet because after six months they kind of become rarer, and then you see them going for far more than you were ever going to pay for it. So yeah, that's annoying. Let's take a look at the booklet and the collection. There's the track listing. Ah, uh, yeah, you see, it doesn't really, it doesn't say greatest hits. You know, it just says disc one and disc two. So that's it. Like it doesn't say greatest hits. Like so, that's the first set, first double. Um, yeah, some nice photos here. Yeah, we have seen before, obviously. Rich Farm, 1975, obviously recording the night at the opera. Over the world, 77. Super Bear Studios, France, 1978. Um, that's on the inside of jazz in black and white, but I always thought that um, it was. I always thought it was New York because you can see it in the background, unless that that's just a. Unless that's just a, you know. A poster in the window, you know. Um, I don't know is, is it a reflection or is it looking out the window? Um, yeah, that's a strange one. Looks like it's definitely New York. New York, New York. Anyway, somebody can answer that question. So, this is the second set of discs. Again, doesn't say greatest, it's too easy. So, it's a platinum collection. Uh, Olympic Studios, London, 1989. Marital era, yeah. Um, I want it all, 1989. Yeah. And this is... Greatest hits, three. The last two discs. That's that's actually what's written in the um, in the new editions, though. Um, the final has been meticulously recreated using the finest analog digital technology. Um, but uh, ma master by Bob Ludwig, you see, yeah, half speed or oh, half speed mastering by Miles Shawell, Abbey Road Studio. Um, yeah, they're probably all like that. I'd say. Um, I'll just check out. Um, what well, it's, it's This version, okay. again, Ludwig Jakob's yeah, Greatest Hits uh, 3 came out in 2011 as well as part of the uh, Ireland Masters. Half Speed Vinyl Mastering by Miles Shawell. Okay. Right, right, right. Anyway, look, that's only minor details. What can you do? That's the way it is. So I have sampled every side uh, the whole 12 sides not all the ho not all the tracks but i sampled them with headphones on a riga planer 2 turntable one of the old riga planer 2s from the 90s um sound pretty good you know they sound like all the island masters i guess that that came out on vinyl um i can't there's nothing different really i think greatest hits 2 
Um, the pink disc here, disc three. There's a bit of surface noise going through that, unfortunately, all the way through, so it's like whoosh, whoosh. And that's annoying. Uh, this sounds fantastic, this sounds fantastic. That's, I, yeah, I knock a few points off that. And the second disc sounds fine, and these sound fine as well. So this one is a bit, a bit strange. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my greatest hits to the double, the remastered one. And I'm going to have a listen to see is that in that. You know, see if, yeah, I don't know, if they're recut and stuff, I don't really know. There isn't a lot to say. That's not already been said. It's a nice um, item and it's definitely a nice collector's item. It's expensive. I'd say, like, even if you didn't have any of the Greatest Hits albums and you just wanted to get them on vinyl, it's a good way to get it. Uh, but it's an expensive one. But then again, you're not going to be able to find three. I think it's probably over 100 euros. So this is your only option to get Greatest Hits 1, 2 and 3 all in one place. And uh, that are uniform. Uh, yeah, so that's all i got to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. And take care.